The 1998 movie A Bug's Life follows the story of an ant named Flick. In the beginning we can see him try out his new invention which would allow ants to harvest food more efficiently. The reason he tries to increase the output per worker is that the ants are forced to deliver an offering of food to the grasshoppers each year on top of having to feed themselves. However, he gets shut down by the elites of the ant hill, that being the queen and her advisors. They claim that his inventing is a waste of time and tell him to just get working again in order to be able to harvest enough food to satisfy the grasshoppers. Those people represent conservatives among the proletariat who oppose useful change that would help the working class. Real world examples include the fact that many working class people oppose an increased minimum wage or mandatory vacations. Unfortunately, an accident causes the food to be lost which causes problems to the ant hill as the grasshopper named Hopper and his gang demand that the ants not only replace the lost food but also double the amount offered. The grasshoppers represent the bourgeoisie which profits of the ants hard work without working themselves. The ants represent the proletariat or working class. Flick tries to stand up to Hopper which worries him. Later in the film we can see Hopper explaining that the ants outnumber the grasshoppers 100 to 1 and that they cannot allow ants to get the idea to revolt which is why he forced the ants to collect more food even though the grasshoppers already have enough. This mirrors real life in which the bourgeoisie also oppose any change that could help the working class. For example, they oppose universal healthcare even though it would be cheaper than the current system. The reason for this is that any concession given to the people could lead to them questioning why the bourgeoisie even gets to take their surplus value in the first place. Hopper says the sun grows the food, the ants collect the food and the grasshoppers eat the food. Which shows his perceived superiority over the proletariat and mirrors typical social Darwinist ideas about oppression and servitude. Much how many people in real life claim that it's natural for workers to be subordinate to the bourgeoisie because hierarchies exist in nature. Flick then has the idea to recruit warriors to fight for them against grasshoppers. He gets the approval by the elite and goes to the nearest town where he meets some previous circus insects and confuses them for fighters. The circus insects themselves just lost their job because their boss wanted to force them to take part in an incredibly life-threatening job which they botched so they agree to help Flick. After Flick returns to the end hill he is celebrated by the people who wish to be liberated but haven't yet realized that they themselves have the power to do it. After learning that the circus insects aren't warriors, Flick devises a clever plan to trick the grasshoppers into leaving using a fake bird. The entire proletariat works together to achieve the goal of the defeat of the bourgeoisie and before long they finish the project. When the grasshoppers come back they plan to smash any opposition and they even want to kill the queen to assert their superiority against the ants. The young ants join Flick in his attempt at using the bird to defeat the bourgeoisie. The grasshoppers are sent into panic when they see the bird and it almost works. Unfortunately it later crashes and burns, leading to Flick confronting Hopper face to face. Hopper says that ants are mindless soil shoveling losers put on this earth to serve grasshoppers. Further confirming that he truly thinks that his position of power and superiority over the working class are justified. Much like real world billionaires tell themselves that their stealing and exploitation are justified. Flick replies by saying that ants are greater than the grasshoppers say and that grasshoppers need ants not the other way around. When Hopper is about to kill Flick to turn him into an example for the others, he sees that the entire working class realize that they are stronger than the grasshoppers say. The workers unite and fight off the bourgeoisie together. After the grasshoppers are gone we see the entire working class use the inventions made by Flick. In the end of the movie the bourgeoisie is fought off and the working class celebrates its victory and freedom. In reality at this point there would be a US backed fascist uprising which would destroy the revolution and install a puppet grasshopper to secure US interests. 